Welcome back to uh, round three at St. Andrews. Let's see how we do today. EA Sports, in conjunction with the RNA, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, it's live coverage of the third round. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay the third and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. The leader? Yeah, the, the leader is fighting. That makes sense. I'm not the leader, but uh, yes. Okay. Excellent. Move it over here. It's got a pretty strong sideways wind. Oh, and I still managed to go right. Oh, that's going to be it. And that a wonderful tee shot. It's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started. So a big drive, and not much needed to carry here for his second. Uh, I still don't know about these pitch shots. Um, I'm going to do an under, underpowered shot and see how that goes. Okay. I went rolled out a lot further than I would have liked. It was also too far right. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. This one measures out to 15 feet. And mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. That did not do what it was supposed to do. According to the line. Safely in. It's a par here at first. And he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead. Here we are now at the second. Always so important to try and establish a good round in these opening holes, Frank. In the second hole, especially with a prevailing breeze and today's modern equipment, the odd player has actually driven this green, but um, you really see, see the tone of the golf course. The middle of the golf course is protected. There's a, there's a series of bunkers down there, but um, the left is always the safe side of the golf course. This the best line to play your second shot from on the whole golf course is always the right side. Uh, and you see that that kind of run into the, into the rough? Yeah. That's too bad. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Run out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. So from the rough, here's his second at two. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, once again, I'm going to go a little underpowered. That might be too underpowered. And just stop dead. Rich, too much grass between ball and club face. Paid a price with the tee ball landing in the rough. Wow, hadn't angled it over. It might have actually gone in. Oh, is that any good? Perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. That could have gone in for the same price. Yep. That finished off four par. He was the second. And he'll remain three shots off the pace. At the third hole now, Frank, it looks relatively easy, but you know there's some danger lurking somewhere out there on the old course. There is. There's the pot bunkers down the right side. This is a tee where really you want to have an idea where that wind is coming from. If it's into your face, you might want to be a little cautious and go towards the middle of the golf course. But if it's behind you, well, then it's worth, worth challenging that right side.
Ooh, that's pretty far right. Any, oh, might be out. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Ooh, just just missed rolling into that bunker, but that's all right. Definitely can't complain. Good too much chance about to that get one. one in close from here. This is second. We're gonna do this. Like maybe there. Try that. Oh my goodness! Wow, that really did not uh, go anywhere near as far as I thought it was going to. Really, it's a waste after that tee shot. Uh, just very average approach. Nota Begay down on three green to look at this putt for birdie. Yeah, it's just very slightly up the hill. I don't think it's going to move more than a ball or so to the right. Oh, no. Damn. So close. Nicely Adam done. Knows. It is a par here at the third. And he'll stay at minus three. Oof. Rears at minus you might seven be asking, now. why have so many of golf's greatest course architects drawn from the old course? Well, here's a good example. It's about the options, a couple of ways to get after a hole. You can take a risk, and you would be rewarded by going toward that narrow valley on the right. But there's always a price to pay. Safer play is to go for the plateau on the left. Again, all about options at the old course. Ah, uh, you can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. Wow, you don't look happy at all. Second shot. Good look at the green. All right, well, we'll go slightly over this way and try to not overcook it. And that didn't work either. Yeah, these approach shots, even with my uh, upgrades and stuff, it's still not very good. We're going to chip this um, a little bit. Can I not move a little bit further? No. Okay, we're going to try going a little higher. Um, go that way. Not bad. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And he'll stay right where he is. We come now to the fifth, the first par five on the front side here at St. Andrews, 514 yard hole that ends at a green that is 100 yards deep. Avoid the Seven Sisters bunkers off the tee and reaching into is a possibility if the weather cooperates. Pretty good, I should have maybe um, faded that a little bit. Don't, oh no, don't run into the deep stuff. Oh God, help. So that ball nestles down in the rough, just got away a little bit on oh, that tee ball. That's, that's bad. Um, now we're gonna basically have to hack this out like that. And if we landed there, it's gonna run. Try here. That's going to run out a little bit, but that was not bad from there. A 
That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. That's a hell of a long way, but we do have a putt for Eagle, so... Oh, goodness gracious, look at this. Yeah, let's try going that way. Uh, yeah, go the other way. I didn't hit that anywhere near hard enough. Oh, and he didn't hit that squarely at all. No. 12 feet still to go. Come on! We Ooh, had an eagle touch. There, that'll leave just ah. a couple of feet. Damn. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. What? That was brutal. And he'll remain right where he is. Absolutely brutal. We should have at least now got a bird there. Now the 374 yard par four sixth. Another scoring opportunity. Yeah, just be very careful of the wind conditions here because that'll affect the strategy off the tee. But bunkers left and right to be avoided. Let's go a little bit more over here and then do... Okay, that did not fade very much. And it's going to run just into the rough, of course. That's not ideal. Ball sitting okay here for his second here at the sixth. This is going to be a real problem for the uh, the distance. I'm going to have to under hit that by quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, really nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still one good putt, maybe a birdie. Why is it saying it goes so much over that way? It's going to go a bit this way. Hmm. It looks like it's going to start to the left fairly strong and then go kind of gently right at the end. Oh, yes. Uh, the pace, absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And he'll get it to one under now for the day. Four under overall. Over the ball here at the seven. And Frank, if you had to script a game plan here, what would it look like? Um, you could drive this pretty close to the green. This is a, a green that's shared with the 11th, the par three. And um, so you won't see that tee shot finish, but um, you can actually drive very, very close to a bunker called the shell, which is the one that protects the par three 11th. Try that, maybe? Oh, good lord. That is way right, and that's going to go right in the bunker. Ah, lovely. And that ball going to roll out a little too much as the momentum carries it all the way into the bunker. And this, not a distance you practice all that often with your bunker shots. Right. Well, that's... Let's just hope this, this gets out. Oh, and then it just runs way past and into the crowd. And that is going to be tough in there. That is into the heavy stuff. I no. Okay, chip shot. Sure, let's move it. Target it that way. All right. Well, that was a good recovery, but should have been a lot closer than that. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's going to stay not, too not, bad. I mean, someone can't complain after going into that deep rough. 
Now to the par 3-8. Frank, what's the best way to go at it? Well, for these players, straight at the flag. This is the first par 3 you'll see, and a good chance to make two coming up ahead. But we do see a lot of long putts here with an errant tee shot. Let's go um, the 7 iron. That's into the wind. We're going to go over here. Try and go a little long. Aim like, yeah, like four. That's like 11 yards. Let's try that. Okay, well, it's going to be on the green, but it's going to be quite a ways away. That one safely on the putting surface. This one computed at an even 60 feet here for birdie. Goodness gracious, look at that. Okay, so mostly going straight. Mostly going fairly straight at the beginning and then dives towards the end. Try that. You might like this one. You might really like it. <gasps> oh, but right there, the speed was spot on, but it was just a fraction offline, or that would have gone in. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth, and he'll remain one shot back. One shot back. Holy, those guys we fell off. Greer got a double here at bogey Sanders somewhere. With the drivable 347 yard par four nine. Biggest trouble here are Bose's and end hole bunkers in the middle of the fairway. Avoid those, and birdie or even eagle is a possibility. Oh no. And despite. Uh, trying to point in the other direction a little bit. We're going to go right into that bunker. Good lord. Oh. Ow. Nope. That wasn't the right line. And he'll Why are you fist pumping going into a bunker? Off the fairway <laughs> and into the bunker. Second shot straight ahead, and we uh, go uh -huh. to Iona Steven. Well, it was a bold tee shot, but unfortunately, end hole bunker has gathered it up. Still a really good chance of getting close to the pin. Punch? The punch shot work? Approach shot is gonna. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to definitely undercook this. Why is it pointing so far over there? Do that. <gasps> uh -huh. I'm looking for the spin. Outstanding strike right there, right off I'm the center all of the blurry. club face, <laughs> and a good chance for birdie. Eleven feet away. This is uphill slightly. Yes. Oh, never in doubt. What a great putt that is. It's a birdie here at the ninth, and he'll go out in 34, two under par for this front side. Starting off the backside here at St. Andrews with the 340 yard par 4 tenth, named in honor of the great Bobby Jones, 1927 Open champion and 1930 amateur champion. Right center off the tee, ideal here. The fairway narrows around 280 yards, but the green is drivable. That looks pretty good. Oh, it might. Uh, I get a bad kick. And that, a good looking shot there. Well placed in the fairway. Yeah, not much further, and it would have uh, rolled onto the green. Although that would be a very long putt, so. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Let's do, um. Let's do 17 feet short. Sorry, 17 yards. Oh yeah, run up, run up. 
trickle. That is absolutely fine. A five footer now for Birdie. Oh. Okay, well done. Yes, A couple of birdies indeed. here sandwiched around the turn at nine and ten. And that's going to move him to six under par. Frank, what are we looking at here at the famed par 3 11th at the old course? Well, the most difficult, there is only two par 3s here at the old course, and this one's called high elevated green, and you've got to fly that bunker that protects the front of the green. That's called the Strath Bunker. Uh, you really take anything on this green. You make a two hit, you'll make a move on the field. Oh, good God, why is it so far right? That's nah, going to probably run off the back of the green. Don't go down that hill, whatever you do. Anytime you want to stop. No, don't speed up. Anytime you want to stop. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Surprised he's not taking driver out for this one. Is a long ways away, though it is for birdie. Only <laughs> chances of even getting this anywhere near is uh, remote, I would say. Dial it back a little bit on the distance. No idea where this is going to end up. Yeah, that's really well done. From that distance, you'll take it every time. Okay, well yeah. done. It is a par here at 11. I will and this will stay a one-shot lead. Well, don't be fooled. It says only 316 yards on the card. This the 12th hole. But you can really end up in a ton of trouble here. Bunkers are hidden all over the fairway. If you want to get through this hole clean, probably take out the long iron and play it down the left side. That'll still give you a short approach in. Hmm. I mean, oops, that is not correct. Go with the three wood. Oof. Uh, hmm. yeah, let's try this. Nine feet downhill into fairly stiff breeze. We'll give this a go and see what happens. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. I have too much trouble getting that to the pin. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second with his par four. And I do I want to hmm, switch it to there? Maybe right just off the just yeah, let's try that. Try and pitch it right into the fringe. That was too much. But, not bad. Ran it a little bit too much, but... Yeah, we just... I just overswung and slightly. Otherwise, that probably would have stopped pretty okay. close. This now for birdie at 12. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Problems at all the pace perfect. It is in for birdie, and that'll move oh, him to I'm seven under so par. Better. 
Now to the par 413th, and again, Frank, it's all about avoiding the bunkers. Yeah, another hole that forces you to go either right or left of something that you can see. Uh, the two bunkers called the coffins right up ahead. You can also go beyond those, and if you do, then you've got a much shorter shot in, but uh, you've got to avoid those fairway bunkers. They are very costly. Mm. Whoops. Yeah, three wood. Be three wood to there. The I always run out into the into the rough. I mean, always. The other day is I ran out into the rough. Let's, let's a little bit more. Oh, good lord! Why are you going so far left? No, you're gonna go to miss the bunker by some. Amazing stroke of luck, or don't, and just completely screw me. And that one not quite able to hang on. It's into the bunker. So Iona, this a second from the bunker. And he's been met with the imposing presence of the third bunker of the oh coffins Lord, down rough. the left-hand side, making it very difficult. <laughs> Welcome to Bogeysville. <laughs> Welcome to Bogeysville. All right, great. What about over here? What else we got? No, nothing over here. Let's let's try to get up there. Maybe. All right, that I didn't go anywhere near where I was. Trying yeah, to hit. Coming out of the bunker, just couldn't get enough club head on the ball and comes up well short. We're uphill. Should be fine. And this is looking really good. What a nice shot. Right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way. He has a 12-footer here. Slightly downhill. Moving a little bit right to left. Oh, hang on. That's going to leave about three feet. So close. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And the lead is going to drop down to a single shot. Frank, you can actually play this 14th hole by taking a detour to another hole on the front side. Explain. Yeah, that's the fourth hole. The fourth hole is adjacent to the 14th. And if you're in a little bit of trouble off the tee, there's nothing wrong with playing the 14th as a zigzag style par five. So. That means the drive, if it doesn't go down the right, you go further left and then back to the green. But uh, it's a safer way, but a much longer option. That should be fine. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. <laughs> I'm tipping my non existent hat. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? I can't really get the green there. I am um, going high. Ooh. Grove ball drop. Broke shot onto the green, and it's even rolling a little bit towards the hole at the end. Frank, there's a perfect example of the difference in the way the game is played in Scotland and the way it's played in the United States. In the U.S., in the air, you fly the ball to the whole location here. You play that baby right on the ground. That was well done. Yeah, the biggest problem is when is the ball going to stop? That's what you have to judge. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's how you take that is a freaking a eagle. Five. It's in for an eagle three. Woo. Superb. <laughs> I'll take that. Yes, indeed. Back here at the 15th, and Frank, this fairway narrows up in a hurry. 
and it's also uh, it, there's a big crop of heather that sort of constrains you if you're going to hit it just straight down the middle. Only the brave go down the right side. Um, it brings in those little bunkers called robs, and uh, they'll rob your scorecard, that's for sure. You think the confidence is there after the eagle? Free and easy with a follow through there. And that is a very good tee shot. This, well, there you go. Yeah, you can do a fist bump. Now, note his second from the fairway. Left with 154 to the hole. Swinging it great today. Would not surprise me if he stuck it close. I mean, we'll try. Uh, let's do this. I'm still not confident at all with these broad shots. As evidenced by that, I mean, I thought it was going to go, there was a chance of it going long. It ended up being 33 feet short. It's a solid shot short. and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Oh, this is going to be A lot moving. of movement on this putt left to right. I a think the idea here is just to get it inside sort of a three-foot circle. That's going way right. That's, well, not terrible. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And this will remain a three-shot lead. All right, Frank, another par four. It's the 16th. Players trying to make their way to the house, standing up in one piece. What's the best way to get at this hole? Well, the normal player would actually try and hit the ball down the left. I've seen the odd player try and hit it down that out-of-bounds line and sort of flash it down the right side, but really there's not much of an advantage, Rich, unless you're the longest hitter in the business. It's a little short and a little left of the principal's nose. Eesh, it's a nice setup for the second shot here at 16. Far right. Somehow bounce out of that. <laughs> uh. Those bunkers are so good at and catching your ball. And that was flirting with disaster brutal. the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker. So a poor result on the tee shot. Now he'll dig in with his second to the par four. All right, that'll uh, be fine, I guess. Well, that's going to be way short. Oh. Oh, and it's ripping back. Yeah, let's, let's just give ourselves a nice... One, well, nearly 100 shot, really. foot. Uh, not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. Oh, this is going to be brutal, too. Uh, yeah, okay, well. Go over there and hit it really hard. Nice. I mean, I could not possibly yeah, have asked for a away, better one than anything that. Anything inside of five feet, it's pretty darn good. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he's going to hold on to that three-shot lead. Now at the 17th tee, and Frank, this is really when you begin to feel the weight and the history the old course bearing down on you. And you also feel the nerves as well because you're having to hit it not just at a fairway or over a bush, but over the corner of an out of bounds. And uh, you'll see it, there's a little sign up there that says Old Course and Country Club. So you've got to pick the exact letter for the line that you want to hit it across. Hit it down the right side, this hole certainly becomes shorter. Left, you find the left and short, you find the road, the road hole bunker. Uh, a little right and long, and well, there's a chance of going out of bounds or on the road itself. But I ended up splitting the fairway, so it's all good. We're slightly above. I mean, uh, it's slightly up, up eight inches, eight nine inches, and we've got a bit of a wind. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Rich, I was told to keep my eyes on this player this week. That is a shot that's as good as any professional in the world. Now this for another birdie. Holy, okay. Oh, finishing strong. That's in for birdie here at 17. What a difference from the last round. Nine under par. Frankie, stand on the tee here at 18, and history is staring you right in the face. Yeah, you have the Rusex Hotel on the right, the Dumbagan over the back, um, the RNA building. Uh, just standing there, you're, uh, you're reminded of, of how far this great game has come, and, uh, and all these hundreds of years, I guess, in the future, and, and where will the game be then? Whoa. Nice. Getting a nice big bounce off the path. Well, somehow that ball managed to get on the cart path, too, and, uh, well, it certainly got some uh, a little added advantage. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. That seems a little much, honestly. I can't... I can't reduce it. Okay, well... well we definitely want to move this more like there and we definitely want to undercook it a little bit that's gonna be a little long rip back nice a little bit of a spin makes it a little less all right that's a board treacherous a lot of green between ball and hole oh, look at this it sloping away over there pace back up the hill for birdie hmm That's too much. Just a little Just bit too much. Sneak on by. It's a little bit too high. Okay, safely in for his par at 18. And that is going to be a Damn, Saturday that was a score 66. of 66 Whew. for this third round. So our wow. future golfer likely going to be doing a little toss and a turn and tonight, working with a 54-hole lead and looking for that first PGA Tour win. Frank, dial it back a few years. <laughs> what is that? A, a, what, a lot of years. Yeah, what, what, what's, that, what's that like? Well, I remember when I was 22, my first uh, professional win was in Australia. And Sorry to get you off there. All right, so we got some experience. Skill points as well. The pro level, whatever that. I don't know what the pro pass level even is. Okay. Got a couple of points that we can spend on something. Um, so I put a lot of points into into recovery and accuracy. Let's do more control. Finesse. Now let's do that. Yeah, because my approaches are, I, might, I will admit that my approaches were better this time, so. All right, so that is the end of that round. We got one more to go in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you then.